Hi guys. I'm fucking Hegel with you. Okay, um, I'm a little bit drunk and um, it's all Jens fault in Germany because he sent me huge mega monster ABV beers and um, I've only done three and, um, and it feels like I've drunk about 20 pints. Um, but I'm going to try and, uh, you know, do a positive, proper professional, <laughs> professional me, <laughs> professional and, uh, you know, legible review. Um, the beer I'm going to be reviewing is the Trappist Rochefort 8. So, you know, I'm doing a, a very low ABV beer here. <laughs> This one comes in at 9.2%. <laughs> I think Jens is trying to kill me. Um, all these beers. It's, it's, it's crazy. But it's um, I'm very, very grateful. Um, okay. I've had the, the Rushfort 10 way, way back in the past. And I absolutely loved it. I've never tried the 8. Um, because, like an idiot, the first of the Rushforts I ever tried was the 10. So I just thought, well, what's the point of trying the others? Because... They're not going to be better than a 10. So, now I've got the opportunity, I can give it a go. So, Trappist Rochefort 8. I'm sure a lot of you have tried it. Oh, pardon me. So, I'm going to give it a go. Ooh. Quite a bit of smoke on that one. Let's put it in a Trappist glass, my oil valve. <laughs> Okay, so um, there we have it in the glass. It's a lovely ambery sort of mahogany colour. Looks absolutely lovely in the glass. Slightly off white head, almost like an eggshell sort of colour. Um, looks very much like a 10. Let's give it a nose and hope my um, adult senses can um, get you a nose on this one. Oh, lovely. It smells exactly like the 10, it really does. I'm starting to get sort of flashbacks of um, when I first tried it. Which is basically dark fruits. I know it's a generic term, but you really are getting those dark fruits. Like plums, figs, raisins, um, bubble gum, which is not a dark fruit, by the way, um, for those who don't know. <laughs> but bubble gum is quite a major sort of smell in these Belgian beers. You do tend to get that coming through. And it's coming through big time on this one. Even getting a very, very, very slight dark chocolate on the edges, but mostly dark fruits and bubble gum, which is basically what you get from your Trappist beers. Um, I'm really, really excited to try this one. Unfortunately, the Rochefort 10 that Jens did send me broke in the mail. It was the only one that broke, and it happened to be the 10. Um, so... Let's give this one a go. Jens, thank you very much. Cheers, guys. I'm really drunk. Oh. See, now this is why Rochefort, I think, are better than uh, the West West Vlatarian 12, which everyone goes mental over and wants to buy. Sod that. Don't pay 60 quid a bottle or whatever it is you guys pay in the States. Get yourself some rush forts, which are a lot easier to get, I believe, and of way more flavour. I tried the West Vlatarian 12 recently, um, which... I don't know, it just didn't live up to this sumptuous um, Trappist flavour, which I was expecting. But this, the 8, let me just give one more go. I mean, this is the 8, it's not even the 10. And straight away you're just hit with this big mouthfeel. Um, 
plums, figs, raisins, bubblegum, caramel, straight away on the tongue. It's just like wallop. I'm here and I'm, and I'm staying here. Deal with it. And um, you're getting that lovely sort of zingy high carbonation which you tend to get with Belgian beers. And it just complements all those flavours. It just twirls them around and, and, and sort of like sparks them on your tongue. So, you know, you're constantly, constantly getting flavour all the time. Um, which is what, what what makes a really, really good Trappist beer. I wasn't getting that with the Westy 12. And I know a lot of you guys out there love Westy 12s. But I don't know if it was a Duff bottle or not. But it just seemed a bit more watery than what I'm getting with the with the Rushful 8. Um, this is beautiful, it really really is. Yeah. Big bready notes. A little bit of lemon on the on the edges. Not too prominent, but basically you're just getting those big beefy figs, raisins, plums. Uh, pumpernickel bread just good hearty Belgian tastes and exactly what you want in a in a Trappist beer so uh, the Rochefort 8 is going to get a 10 out of 10 from me because it's just beautiful it really really is it's a slight it's very very slightly more subdued than the 10 as you would expect um, and which is why the Rochefort 10 is probably still my favourite beer from Belgium now then I'm really really drunk <laughs> and I've got work tomorrow oh my god so I'm going to stop drinking beer and um, try and sober up so um, guys thank you very much for watching I love you all I think you're great and I, I really really love the comments and and thank you for watching my big potato head drink beer and talk bullshit so thank you very much cheers